I'll start recording. All right. Okay, guys. So, I didn't expect... I didn't expect to have to give a fucking gender studies lesson. But, apparently it's necessary. Um, now, obviously, if you have a brain, like, if you know anything, then you know the fact that... Can I... How do I add text on this? I've literally never used this. You know the fact that sex sex like biological sex and gender aren't the same thing like there's a difference um which is like good like yes it's the scientific consensus that's the academic consensus like yes so we have sex right biological sex you know not like intercourse and then we have gender okay it's, it's two different two different things all right we we got that clear the consensus is made, folks. Wait, no, I don't want it to look like that. It needs to be more pretty than that. How do I also, like... I'm, I'm having problems with this. What is this shit? I don't know. <laughs> Gender, sex, not the same. All right, we, we, we good? I need... Yeah, this will work. All right. Wait. Wait, no, do it, go. Is it too small? Like, where? <laughs> what about. What is the font size? Or the. the. This is totally killing my flow, guys. Like. How do I make the brush appear? How do I make the brush bigger? Oh, size. Not that big. That's too big. All right. Whew. Sex and gender, not the same. Different things. In fact, for, for emphasis, let's make them different colors. So gender can be blue and sex can be fucking pink. All right. Okay. We got that all settled. Actually, that's too, like, binary. Let's d go, like, magenta for fucking biological sex and, like, orange for gender. Yeah. All right. Okay, we, we're, be, we're being more creative than the traditionalists right now. Can I delete this thing? Why are you here? Okay. Gender sex, not the same. I'm glad liberals, even liberals, can believe this. You know? I'm glad. But. <sighs> the first thing I want to point out is we can point gender, or we can split gender into two different things, right? And I want to explain first the difference. It's not just that there is a difference. The difference is that gender is the socio-cultural dimension of this sort of dichotomy of human behavior that we can observe, and sex is the biological dimension, okay? So like, I'm gonna get into this. So like gender, you can split into different, um, components is the word that I like to use for this, okay? So, like, we've got different, hold on, different, wait, that's white. Why is it white? I literally made it red just now. Why is it white still? <laughs> oh my god, dude, why? Why does this not work? Red, I want red. No, I want red. <sighs> I'm, this, I'm suffering. Okay, let's, all right, now we have red. It's we, We're using crayons like little babies. All right, so whoosh, whoosh, different components of gender. One of, one of which a lot of people like to refer as gender roles, all right? Why is this so big? Why is it so large? No, don't. Uh, move, wait, wait, move, get, mm, yeah, this is not intuitive. Roles, we have gender roles, okay? So gender roles are like things, you know, like 
chivalry for men, you know? Like, if we want to split this up in a binary way of, like, men and women. Um, which, actually, I do for this example. That's part of this structure I'm trying to build here. So, I don't want it to be red. I want it to be blue and pink. For gender, you know, we would have... we would, I would think of this in the terms of, like, if we're just using the binary, you know... Like, sorry, NBs, but, like, you're not part of this discussion. Like, I'm not trying to be ex exclusionary, but, like, I'm not talking about you when I do this. Um, T-men, <laughs> Lamau. Uh, <laughs> men, okay? So, for gender, the word is men, right? It's men and women. So for genders, we have men and women in our culture, you know, like, obviously, it's a it's a construct, yes, in the sense that it doesn't exist. Like in nature, you can't find genders, it's human behavior, you know. Um, obviously, you can find biological sex in nature, that's why it's called biological sex, but um, God damn it, dude, this is really irritating. Women, men and women, all right? Those are the genders in, like, neoliberal American culture, basically. Like, those are, th that's, those are the two sides of the bimodal distribution. Um, get smaller text before I kill myself. All right, there we go. Uh, so we have men and women. So And, and then for sex, okay, we, ha we would have... And I'm, save, I'm saving the roles explanation for later. We would have male, right? God damn it. Male. Fuck me. Get, mm. Male. There we go. You've got male, all right? And... Uh, who can guess what comes next, class? Female. All right? We getting this all down on our little fucking notepads? We, we all good? Everyone understand? Ma male and female are the sexes in our culture. Men and women are the genders. Practically. Like, for, like in general, on average. All right? Um... Okay, this is way better actually, but I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, all right. So for gender, there's components to this. There's roles. So things for like like for men, you know, their role would be like a, ma a, a, a male gender role would be like chivalry towards women. You know, like it's a it's societal expectations fit into this category. So like. I'm gonna do like a little parentheses. Societal expectations is basically what gender roles are. If we really wanna like be honest about this, okay? That color needs to be closer to red. All right, all right, I'm happy with that. So gender roles are just basically just societal expectations, you know, like what society expects you to do. So like, there's a societal expectation for men to be chivalrous and gentlemanly. Like, the, like old-fashioned people expect that, and they hold doors open for women and shit. That's a gender role. Like, that... And, like, the trad wife thing for women, like, that's a societal expectation. That's a gender role. Like, really extreme um, traditionalist conservatives will say that, well, basically, what they believe women should do, you know? Like, people who really believe in MAGA, as in, like... Let's get back to the 1950s and make American culture great again in this, like, weird quasi-fascist way, you know? Like, people who, like, genuinely believe in that, their belief that of a woman's role in society as that gender is that they should basically be, like, barefoot and pregnant. Like, that's the, like, that's their belief, okay? So... And that ranges all the way into my belief, which is that we shouldn't have any societal expectations because we should abolish gender eventually. Like, in my ideal society, it it doesn't have this. Like, this isn't... People just are their true individual authentic selves on, like, individual levels. 
um, in a society without gender, but, or like post gender is probably a better way of saying it, like how we talk about post capitalism. But um, there's other things that could turn into that I want to like get into as well when I talk about like the contention I ran into that made me make this video. Okay, so do we get what gender roles are? Like, do we got that down, everyone? Like, <laughs> we all good with that. Because I feel like a lot of people aren't. Like, they don't even think about this. But then you would have gender presentation is the second thing I want to talk about. Which are also... I don't want to, like, give it away, but, like, I would also put that under the category of expectations of society all right so we have gender presentation so that's like what you look like like that's like men and you know people like i said traditionalist conservatives will use these as prescriptive statements as in men should be this way they'll say like men should have short hair and should wear like like it's the clothes you wear you know it's like men wear suits on like business and special occasion and like women wear dresses and shit it's women wear makeup and men don't it's all of these expectations so i'm also going to put societal expectations here but i'm also going to do like slash norms because it's also just like what's normative in the society and there's a difference wait yellow doesn't even appear on this that's <laughs> eh, bro and I don't like that color. Let's just make it darker green, yeah. So gender presentation also has to do with societal expectations and norms, right? So this would also be gone in a post-gender world because no one would expect, like there wouldn't be the categories. Like, you know, when I'm talking about abolishing gender, I'm talking about abolishing the categories of gender, abolishing the ideas of men and women as prescriptive should statements that people engage in both mentally and like out outwardly to others, you know, like that's what I want. That's what I'm trying to say shouldn't exist. Like, that's what I'm criticizing. It's actually way more specific than the general terms and what they just, like, generally mean to you when you hear them. Like, we're actually talking about shit here. But, um... That brings me to, like, my ultimate argument later. Um, the third component of gender that exists would be identity your gender identity which is separate distinct different from your gender presentation and your gender roles that you fill um which is why for example some dude like cross-dressing for whatever reason doesn't make him a woman is because his gender identity would still be man um Let's make this one purple, yeah. So your gender identity, okay. And that... As much as that is up to society, is just like... Transphobia, like that's... that's Soci that's society's opinion on gender identity. Cis like, cis people don't even want to admit to themselves that they have a gender identity, but they do. Like, that's how you know you're a guy, is because you are. Like, you it's, it's a weird, like, you just are. Like, and uh, it's careful, like, we shouldn't just use the word feel, because that's diminishing of, like, what it actually means. And it makes, it makes like, normies think that you think that gender is just how you feel when that's not the argument um so i'm not going to say that your gender identity is societal's or societal expectation because that is basically condemning you to a life of society's expectation of your identity which is literally like emotional fascism like that's like a narcissistic abuse but um 
on the contrary your identity is literally up to you like it's literally like yours to define um and this is like an existentialist idea as well of like existence does not proceed or existence precedes essence instead of essence precedes existence like fucking the greeks thought and there's a re that's like let me tell you there's a reason why fascists want to get back to like the greek classics or whatever is because it's like not good <laughs> like it's not good literature but um your identity is up to you because you are up to you like no one can tell you you are something you're not is 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 what that means um so gender abolitionists believe that we should abolish the categories of men and women, you know, like there's examples of all these three components of gender that that do exist, like they are social phenomena, they do exist, um, just as much as anything biological in the sex category would go like, like, let's talk about what sex it means, like chromosomes, you know, like, let's just write like examples in black, like, let's just be like, really boring, like, F like stem kids for a second okay science nerd time mode achieved i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna put my glasses on all right so we have chromosomes right that's part of your biological sex we have fucking genitalia that's also part of your biological sex right like that's a physical observable phenomenon that's one that's definitely that you know and then certain averages like 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 for example like the average like average differences Let's just be really general in physical or bio or biologic or we could just say physiology. Yeah, that's this. Yeah. So that's what sex is like. That's what the, the idea, the concept of sex is based on. OK, is these things, things like this. And just, like, to cover my ass, I'll put, like, etc. Like, yeah, there we go. To cover everything. I feel like I'm demonstrating this really well, actually. Um, so, the reason why it's important to think of all these things as, like, separate and in these categories you know is because you can have different combinations of them at once so like you aren't just one of them like you're not just a male like that's not that's a conflation of the two you know like that's why this is a useful model but um gender roles like i said like the gentleman thing and the the like housewife archetype those things um men are expected to be like strong in our culture and women are expected to be like docile those are like roles you know <sighs> women are expected to be compassionate and caregivers while men are expected to be soldiers and die male disposability is part of this you know die to protect them all these things Gender presentation, examples of this, like I said before, makeup, the clothes you wear, hairstyles, hair length, even. All these things. And all these things are subject to change throughout history is the interesting part. Like, remember when men wore tights and shit? And, like, rem <laughs> remember the, like, remember all these things? Like, 
these things change it's up to culture that's why it's the socio-cultural dimension of this and then you have gender identity which is basically whether or not you identify as a man or a woman or something else um if you're a real radical unlike me or anyone like <laughs> within the binary but like, <laughs> but like um sex is this these things okay so both these things are equally real even though this is like an abstract gender is based on abstract concepts and sex is based on physical observable things they're because they're both observable like the, the, you can still observe them like it's still for all intents and purposes real as much as anything is real in reality like as much as reality exists so when I say it, when we say abolish gender, we're saying abolish the categories of men and women. Like get rid of this, this part. Obviously, these things would still exist in that world. Like people would still have gender presentation, gender roles, and gender identities. There just wouldn't be the categories, the authoritarian categories built into the society in a toxic way. So when I say that sex is a social construct, meaning that the categories of male and female are just as made up, because again, you can still have combinations of things, these things that cross over the line. Like, let me just draw that part for a second. Oh, wait, yeah, this doesn't work. This fucking, the fucking, like, quill, the classical liberal pencil doesn't work. Um, these things cross over one another. I'm using a trackpad, by the way. Oh, yeah, I need to, I need to redo that with a smaller thing. Yeah, these things cross over one another, bro. So, when I say that sex is a social construct as well as gender, even though it's based on physical things, when I say abolish sex, obviously these things it's based on are still going to exist. Just because something is based on something doesn't make it cease to be a social construct. That's not what social construct means. Social construct doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Even though it does mean that, in the sense that it means that... Hold on a second. It means that... That's too big a brush, and I can already tell, huh? It means that, dude. These things don't exist. These things. This part. While these these this part, you know, continues, in fact, to fucking exist. Okay? That's my point. <laughs> I don't think it's that hard. Hey guys, all right. We got we do we, did we learn something today, kids? Are we we are all that down? Should I like minimize this so it's it's like more visible? Or wait, get rid of that shit. Get it now. <laughs> we all good. Do you understand? That's the video, guys.